Hey man, welcome to the show. I want to ask you how did it happen that Blender is so popular now and why do you think everybody should learn Blender? You said something like this before. Yeah man, nobody was talking about Blender in car design just a couple years ago. Even I started like three years ago or something. So why did you start using Blender? Because I was an exterior designer at Ital Design and I was planning to change to interior design. But you cannot just say, today I'm gonna be an interior designer. No you know? man, you need a portfolio, right? Exactly, so it started with some sketches, but then I wanted to do some nice organic interior. I think I was planning to make a Mercedes-Benz interior design project and I needed new workflow basically. And which software you were using on that time? Well, I knew Alias, but I didn't want to use it because it takes too much time to model, then you need to export the model and import it to another software for rendering. Just too much pain, you know? So I was looking for some other solution, another type of workflow. But wait, now in Alias also there is sub-D modeling, so you can model quickly. Yeah, no? but you need to be super rich to use Alias or any other Autodesk products, right? It costs like thousands of dollars. Also, that sub-D workflow was not there when I need it. Oh yeah, this Blender being totally free is just amazing. But is it free also for companies, for everyone? Sure, doesn't matter where you work, you have the free license. So you can use it at home or at work with no headache. And there are many car designers using it at the moment. Also, funny story, when I wanted to use Blender in Ital Design, I told to my manager like, hey, I want to use a new software for my design process because you don't even touch alias at work because there's alias design team, alias modelers team. So you don't even have time or they don't even let you work on alias. And when I mentioned to my manager like a new software, he was like, ah, oh, but we need to talk with the purchase team like about the license and about how much it costs and stuff. And I was like, no, no, it's totally free. Like it's free for everyone. And he was like, for companies, for commercial use also. And I was like, yeah, it's free for everyone, also for the companies. And he was surprised and he said, okay, just call the IT guys and install it then. And it was very quick. Otherwise, as you see, when you need a new software, but if it's paid, it's big pain in the back. Cool. So I wanna ask you like, how did you learn it yourself at first? Well, that's a great question because I had to watch tons of tutorials on YouTube and I also bought some courses, but they were not directly focusing on the car design. You know, when you learn how to model a donut, it doesn't directly help you for car design process. No, you mean that Blender Guru donut tutorials, right? Yeah, and it is great to learn basics. I love Blender Guru and donut tutorials and all his tutorials, but I spent a couple of months of hard work to finally build a car design workflow myself. And this is why I prepared my Blender 3D for car design specifically online course. But your course is paid, so what if somebody wants to learn for free? Well, you can always do as I did at the beginning. You can watch many random tutorials about donuts and other stuff and find your way in a couple of months if you don't give up. But I think my course is a good investment because you will learn all you need in 8 hours or something. So it is a great value on a compact package directly to the point, right? If you want to learn Blender directly for car design, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Alright, my next question for you is what is your favorite thing about Blender? Like apart from it being free, what else is interesting for you? Yeah, uh, first of all, it is very fast. You can really put your idea into 3D volumes very quickly. Next thing is the real-time shading. While modeling and designing your idea, you can see metallic colors, all materials and environment reflections already on your design. And the third thing is that Blender is all in one software, meaning that you can model, render and animate without exporting anything. It sounds like a dream for every designer, so now I understand what you mean. Exactly, to me it sounds like history if you need to export your 3D and import it to a rendering software like KeyShot or something and then if there's a problem, go back to 3D. No man, it's not for me anymore. Wow. Yeah, it's true. And what is the next after your Blender beginners course? Like you mentioned something new is coming, right? I'm working on new courses about complex surfaces on Blender and animation, rendering and so on. So more advanced courses are coming soon, hopefully. And at the same time, I will keep on posting stuff on YouTube and Instagram as always. I'm really hyped about this, man. I think I'm gonna model something right now. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. It's the same here. I will do the same. And thanks for having me today. Yeah, it was great talking with you. Like, it was a bit weird. I felt like talking to myself, but it was really <laughs> nice. Right? It's same here, man. It's crazy. See you next time. Cheers, man. See you.